those albums. But live, you hear it for yourself. He sucks. And it wasn't really because his voice was shot. It was because of the drinking and drugs. Especially coke throat. You do that coke and it gets you going and it gets out on stage and he puts the microphone in the stand and he takes it off. He runs around, he puts it in the stand, he runs around, takes it off. Runs. You know he's on coke. And then by the time that drip gets to his vocal cords, ee! And he's just like, over the mountain! That's why. So there's your rock and roll for today. It ain't you, Abba. <laughs> trying to play it on the last Paul but I couldn't the beginning
Starts with the bass. Boom, boo, boo, boom, boo, 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 boom, boo, 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 and then I just do that stuff, and then I go into chords, and then I do this solo, because it's about it's called Long Ago and Far Away. It's about a old girlfriend, and so the solo is like wee, like not my guitar gently weeps. This this is more like my guitar is wailing. And I almost nailed it in the demo we did. I can't find the demo, though. And we did this in 1988. I mean, we wrote the song in one day and recorded it the next. And I'm trying to remember it from then. All I know is the bass line was something... <laughs> remember and I can't ask the bass player because he's dead uh, I wish I could find that demo because it was a really good song I mean it's basic but it builds and towards the end it's like it was powerful it was a good song I, and the singer was good he just needed to spruce up his image. This is 1988, so everybody was like, yeah, we should we take our makeup off or should we leave it on? Half of them were doing one, half of them were doing the other. In 89, you know, by 88, end of 88, vampire. And it, we just, I'm like, we're staying with the makeup. And then when the band decided in a band meeting that we were taking the makeup off, I said, we're going to lose our entire audience because we're singing about vampires, but we look like this. Not a good looking group, except for me. Actually, I was kind of getting alcohol, fat face, so that didn't help either. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I, we played uh, two shows, one at the Troubadour, and it was half full. And they're like, oh, dude, you know, I don't think it was a good move. So we did a radio interview trying to explain to the audience, and this is like a local thing in Hollywood, and, you know, most of Hollywood would hear it, that, you know, we're moving on, like, it's like a kiss thing. It's like what Kiss said. And I'm like, oh, this is so bad. So I told jokes. I won't say what them now because they're way politically incorrect. So I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I, I was going to post it online because I have a cassette of the interview. But it's so bleh. Anyways, we were trying to explain that now dead doesn't mean dead it means cool like oh dude that's so dead really what does blood mean what does vampires mean what is you know no so like i said we played a half full show at the troubadour and then we wanted to play again but they're like eh, maybe you should rethink this image thing they were you know trey and johnny were like and i was like I didn't care. I was out. I'm like already thinking, okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm leaving. So we got booked at some club. We tried to get booked at FM station, but I'm like, no, dude, that's the bottom of the barrel, man. No way. This is, and it was 1991, I think, or two. So we got this, we got booked at some bar that was right off the 405. I'm like, oh my gosh. And there was like 50 people there. But we were at a bar. We were selling out all the clubs. We were touring. But then that thing happened where, you know, grunge. But it didn't come in as like one boo. The record companies just turned our, their back on everybody. But there was still something. People were still coming out to see... Like, Stone Temple Pilots jumped right in. And they got it, you know, they played the whiskey and they sold it out. And they were from San Diego. Boop. Done. And I'm thinking, hmm, I don't really like that music, though. I mean, that's not my... I'd rather go into Pantera. So I'm trying to think, what do I do? What do I do? Started a band with Chris Holmes, Rat Bastard, we called it. We have a, a demo, but I can't find that anymore either. But if I do, I'll put it up. It sounds like Wasp. And, uh, well, there you go. You know, everything went to crap. I think we played two more shows, and then we had another band meeting, because I wasn't into it. And I'm like, really? You think? You, know, you, you, you finally understand? I, this is not what I wanted. I think we should keep the makeup on and see what happens, because things happen. I go, this grunge thing is not going to last. And it didn't. It was done by 95, 94, 95. Marilyn Manson came in, boom, over, done. Makeup, shows were back, everything. It was not a happy thing. It wasn't like party, party, party. It was like, you know, Marilyn Manson. But I'm like, we were right up that alley. We could have easily blended in. I remember Faster Pussycat put their stuff back together and Tammy Downs wearing a Nazi uniform and I'm like that guy will do anything he's a nice guy but he's just a trend follower so a lot of people are hey he got a record deal a good one but he was in that movie if you were, if you were in that stupid decline movie like my bass player was that was the kiss of death you were forever labeled as a is a joke band kind of like poison but hey they're still touring and making money and i like cc's hair it's long again but there you go i'm done i'm just rattling now so uh subscribe comment comment please and uh, if, if you want like subscribe why not Subscribe because this guitar is cool. It is cool.
Yeah, I'm not trying to pull this off as like the dime bolt, but these things are going for a thousand something. It's just they were, uh, I don't know, but I like it better. I think it looks cooler. I always thought his was kind of cheesy, but you know, dime man, he made it. He made it cool. So, hey, I got the sticker, and I got the right pickup. Thank you.